hello friends. Um, today's episode is on urban gardening. There's so many benefits to having a variety of gardens in urban areas from plants and pots like these uh, pots that I have with my kale and my tomatoes growing. Um, I don't have a very big yard or a lot of space, but I can grow a lot of food to entire yards turned into gardens. So let's explore some gardens and the wonderful benefits they provide for us and our planet. Thanks, Hop Friends. Time to explore. Hello, Hop Friends. We are here from Blooming Heights Edible Schoolyard and Outdoor Classroom in the Columbia Heights School District. And I'm here with my good friend, Wes Neutron, who's an agricultural specialist. So he's gonna tell us just a few of the wonderful things that uh, edible classroom gardens can do for us. All right, hello. So um, we're standing here next to some sunflowers. And uh, one of the things that we do here at Blooming Heights is we really try to represent um, many cultures in our programming and in the foods that we're growing. So um, sunflowers are native to North America, um, but here we actually have a sign um, that says the name sunflower in English, Spanish, Ojibwe, Dakota, and Somali. And those are some of the cultures um, represented in our school. Um, and uh, also through our education here, um, we really uh, include curriculum about different cultures and food cultures. Um, there's a program called Food Origins, um, a class that we do um, called World of Vegetables. Um, so we're really trying to represent um, the cultures uh, within our school district. That's excellent, Wes. Now we're going to go to another part of uh, the garden here and explore some more wonderful things that uh, this great place does for us. All right, so uh, one other uh, big focus of Blooming Heights is uh, building community. So um, one thing that we've been doing this summer is doing uh, free produce shares alongside the, um, the food service for Columbia Heights in front of the Highlander Center. So we've got uh, today's harvest that we're gonna bag up and bring outside um, the district and give away to the community. All right, so at Blooming Heights, uh, we are fully organic. We don't use any uh, pesticides in our garden. Um, I think that's an important aspect of sustainability um, and food safety actually in a food system. Hello. We know that there are all kinds of different types of gardens. Today we're going to show you a type of a garden that's really important to the environment. It's called a rain garden. They are always strategically located next to a road or a parking lot like you can see here. Basically any kind of hard surface where water will run down. So this is the beginning of the rain garden. This is where it's going to capture the water and send it flowing to an area where we'll contain it or keep it in a place. Let's go check it out. So here's where the water will run down on a rainy day. As you can see, this is all sunk down to capture that water. So rain gardens do lots of very important things for our environment. First of all, they filter the water to protect our lakes, our rivers, and our coastal areas. So they're cleaning the water for us. They also, as you can see, provide a great habitat for uh, animals like butterflies and bees and birds and our amphibian friends with lots of native plants. That's really important, like those brown-eyed Susans are native. And also, rain gardens help prevent flooding. If this wasn't here, all that water would be rushing to the street and to homes nearby, and it could flood them. This captures the water. Rain gardens are a very important type of a garden to have. I love all kinds of gardens. One of my favorites is the garden that attracts butterflies and bees and birds. These gardens are very important to create habitat for these friends. Also, you might know that bees are important pollinators. They pollinate 35% of the food that we eat. I think that's pretty important. Let's plant gardens for our bee and butterfly friends too. Gardens like this one clean our air through a process called photosynthesis. That means they take in a gas called carbon dioxide, which warms our planet 
and they release a gas called oxygen, which we need to breathe. Also, less lawn mowing with gas-powered mowers means less pollution. We need gardens like this. Whether it's a big garden or a small garden, they can all make a difference. When we plant native plants with a lot of biodiversity, it brings natural beauty, peace, and joy to the world.